In this video, we're going to focus on calculating the mean, median, mode, and range. So let's begin. Let's say if we have the numbers 12, 7, 14, 5, 7, 11, and 9. So how can we calculate the mean of this data set? What would you do to find it? To find the mean, which is basically the average of the seven numbers, you need to take the sum of the seven numbers and divide it by the numbers that you have, which is seven. And so that's how you can calculate the average or the arithmetic mean. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's add up 12 plus 7 plus 14 plus 5 plus 7, plus 11, and plus 9. And since there are 7 numbers, let's divide it by 7. So the sum of the 7 numbers is 65. 65 divided by 7 is equal to 9.285 or 286 if you round it. So that's the arithmetic mean of those numbers. Now what about the median? How can we calculate the median of this data set? What do you think we need to do in order to find it? To find a median it's going to help if you arrange the numbers in increasing order. The lowest number is 5, and then we have two sevens. Next we have a 9, 11, 12, and 14. Now in order to find the median, we need to find the middle number. The best way to find the middle number is to eliminate the first and the last number. Next, eliminate the second number and the second to last number. And then eliminate the third and the second or the third one from the left. The one in the middle is the median. So in this example, the median is equal to 9. Now what about the mode? How can we calculate the mode? The mode is simply the number that appears most often or the number with the highest frequency. Every number appears once except 7. 7 appears twice, so the mode is equal to 7. Now the last thing that we need to calculate is the range. So how can we find the range of this data set? The range is simply the difference between the highest number and the lowest number. The highest number is 14, the lowest number is 5, 14 minus 5 is 9, and so 9 is equal to the range. Now let's work on another example. So let's say if we have a data set that contains the numbers 6, 14, 8, 5, 3, 11, and 9. So go ahead, pause the video, and try this practice problem. Find the mean, median, mode, and range. And when you finish, just unpause it and see if you have the right answer. So let's start with the mean. So let's find the sum. Let's add up the seven numbers. 6 plus 14 plus 8 plus 5 plus 3 plus 11 plus 9 adds up to 56. And there are seven numbers, so we're going to divide it by seven. 56 divided by seven is eight. So the average, or the arithmetic mean, is equal to eight. So now, let's go ahead and calculate the median. 
But to do that, let's arrange it in increasing order. The lowest number is 3. The next one is 5. And then we have 6, 8, 9, 11, and 14. Notice that the middle number is 8. So therefore, the median is equal to 8. Now what about the mode? What is the value of the mode in this problem? Which number occurs most frequently? Notice that every number occurs only once. So therefore, there's none. There is no mode in this particular problem. Now the last thing that we need to figure out is the range, which is the difference between the highest number and the lowest number. The highest number is 14, the lowest number is 3. And so 14 minus 3 is equal to 11. And so that's the range. So far, we've considered two examples in which we had an odd number of numbers in a data set. In this case, there was only seven numbers. But what if we have an even number of numbers? For example, let's say if there are eight numbers in a data set. Let's try this example. Let's say the numbers are 6, 8, 5, 5, 9, 8, 10, and 8. So go ahead, take a minute, calculate the mean, median, mode, and range. So let's start with the mean. Let's add up the numbers. 6 plus 8 plus 5 plus 5 plus 9 plus 8 plus 10 plus 8 will give us a sum of 59. And there are 8 numbers. Now 59 divided by 8 is equal to 7.375. And so this is the average. Now let's calculate the mode. Now before we do that, let's put the numbers in increasing order, as we did before. So the lowest number is 5, there's two of them, and then we have a 6, there's three eights, there's a 9, and there is a 10. So notice that 8 is the number that occurs most frequently. There's three of them. So the mode is 8. Now the median is going to be the middle number. Let's see, we can get rid of 5 and 10, 5 and 9, 6 and 6. In this case, the last two in the middle are 8. Because they're the same, the median is going to be 8. Now the last thing that we need to calculate is the range. And we know the range is simply the difference between the highest number and the lowest number. So it's 10 minus 5, which is equal to 5. Now let's work on one more example. This time we're going to have 10 numbers in a data set instead of 8. So the numbers are 12, 15, 21, 4, 36, 15, 11, 48, 29, and 38. So let's begin by calculating the mean. Let's add up the 10 numbers. So the sum of the 10 numbers is 229. 229 divided by 10 will give us an average of 22.9. So that's the arithmetic mean. Now let's calculate the median. So let's put everything in order. The lowest number is 4. And then we have 11, and then 12, 
there's two 15s. Next, we have 21, 29, 36, and then 38 and 48. Now, let's calculate the mode. 15 is the number that appears most frequently. So the mode is going to be uh, 15. Now, to find the median, we need to calculate the middle number. What do you think the middle number is going to be? Well, we can eliminate 4 and 48. Next, we can get rid of 11 and 38. And then 12 and 36. And then 15 and 29. So at this point, we're left with two numbers in the middle. Whenever you encounter a situation like this, what you need to do is take the average of the two numbers. Add up the two numbers and divide by 2. This will give you the midpoint between 15 and 21. The middle number is 18. 15 plus 21 is 36. Half of 36 is 18. So that's the median. That's the midpoint between 15 and 21. Now, lastly, let's calculate the range. The highest number is 48. The lowest number is 40. And that gives us a difference of 44. And so that's it for this video.